The only advice that I can offer is this. You will find no wealth in the wasteland greater than that which you will find within yourself. Well, that's nice. Bask in Atom's glow and you will understand. I don't want to get radiation poisoning. Actually, I think I'm standing in radiation, which is not a good idea. Megaton. Atom's, Atom's sacred, sacred village. village. He has chosen this place for the site of his shrine, and we have been called. Mm -hmm. Outsiders ask us, why did you build a town That's what around I said. a bomb? To them I say, the bomb brings the promise of division and the gift of the glow. The bomb is us. The bomb is Atom. And thus, we are Atom, awaiting the day in which each of us gives birth to a trillion new lives. Um, I'm going to go now. Well, what's the news? News? My friend, I take effort not to be involved in such worldly business. Earthly pursuits distract from Atom. Of course. Of course. <laughs> now that you mentioned it, I've noticed that Moira has hired a mercenary to protect her goods. The man never sleeps. So they say. Okay, then. See ya. Hey, yeah, I think going? I am in Not bad. Not bad. some kind of radiation. Am I okay? Mm. Not too great. Behold! He is Can't coming even. with Can't the even clouds! Damn Sorry, and every eye shall be Squirrel stew. Mm. This day. Every ear oh, shall be stricken deaf. <sighs> In here, Lucy West's house. Now oh, I'm cool. These leaks, I'm pretty sure a quest to, do, to fix these, but I'm not sure where I can get the quest. I think it's like a mechanic or something. I'll check it out soon. What's my current quest? Speak to. Yeah, I'll do that too. I can't get in the saloon, which is kind of sucky. Unless that's the wrong entrance. I think there is two entrances. Go to men's restroom. Here we go. Ah, uh, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been it's shit lately. for a reason. Work. Don't get any ideas. Come on, work. Why won't you work? Got something on your mind? Right, okay. Radio. Wait, so... Is that... Hello. My, my. Yeah, I'm Just here. when I had all but given up hope. Stop calling me. My dear boy. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That no. makes you a rather valuable individual. It does. Don't you see? You're a free agent. You have no ties here, no interest in this settlement's affairs. Megaton means nothing to you. Well, that's a nice place. I represent certain interests who view this town, this Megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. I don't if this shit. settlement were to go away, why, who would really care? Certainly not you or I. Ask me to destroy the town. No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion Maybe. pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. What can you do yourself, eh? Uh, 
Uh, you're, oh, I don't want to help him, obviously. Which is the best option? I'm going to leave now. We well, got your mind. Mm. Oh, I see. I didn't realize Megaton had any guardian beyond its intrepid sheriff. Very well then, I'll take my leave as you suggested. Damn it! Not kill him. I want to kill him. It up, Bitch. Bob. Not you want to Wait, let me just see if I can kill him without everyone else trying to attack me. Just looking to get your ass. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Be dead. That's headshots. Oh, boom, there we go. I'm getting calmer. Oh, ah, okay. No one attacked me. Cool. Hey, Burke, how you doing? I'm looking too good, bro. Your head's missing. Um. Or science pistol. Do one of your crappy clothes. Where'd your head go? On this table. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I'm gonna equip this pistol now actually. Awesome. Yeah, I tried on the tunnel snake outfit. Don't look at me like that. I don't know. I'm not really bothered. It isn't tunnel snakes are kinda of dicks, even though I w in the end I did help Butch. Can I repair it with a pistol? No. I need a good repair skill. I use it until it breaks, and I change. A traveler, eh? I mean, it's does it even have an advantage over the normal pistol? Let's have a look. Damage five, damage three. Actually, no, it doesn't. Oh, I just got some men to men. Tax bikes, don't they? What do they do? No, uh, just yeah, it's like a buff, which is fine. You want some? Can't I just drink in peace? I'm sorry, bro. Let's it's talk to the ghoul and morality actually as well. Hi there, I'm Nova. New to Megaton, huh? Do yourself a favor and keep walking. Some of us stay for a few days, and then it's five years later. You can just walk out. Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty mm. is the only one who's going to help you. Talk to Gob. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something, but I doubt it. Contrarium, destroy the ghoul. Are you as what, like a prostitute, or... I don't know. Who, Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. He don't talk about it much, but apparently there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times, but other than that, he won't really say. Hmm. He's been here for, oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. Not really fair, is it? Ghouls, slaved. Work with him? With Gob? <laughs> well, he's sweet, and, and I know that he likes to. Is he then? It's just, well... I don't want to sound shallow or anything. I mean, I'm a whore. My standards aren't exactly high. Okay, she's, she's a whore then. But there are places even I won't go. Johnnies that are squishier than me are one of them. Can I hire then? Would that work? Well, I don't the miserable that. bastard is hard on all of us. But Gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know? I know. So, can I hire her then? Let's have a look, see what it does. It takes you renting a room. Sleep in it or don't. I don't care. I get paid either way. Okay. Uh, recessions. Huh? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes, 
There are two stations that broadcast. Yeah. There's the Enclave station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C. But the signal went down a while ago. Hmm. What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? You serious? Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. It's the only free radio station today? left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. What's the word around tan? I couldn't tell you, really. I talked to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Okay then. No for the hole. I have to go now. Take care of yourself, hun. Any yeah, ideas? It's not nice and Hell of a day, really isn't cool. it? To just talk to Gob, didn't she? Let's talk to Gob then. Never seen a ghoul before. Hey, no, smooth skin. Do you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Okay, <laughs> fuck with you. Uh. It would be really nice. Wait. You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? <laughs> I could be really mean, but I'm a nice guy. I want, I want karma. Good karma. Well, now. That's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. It's okay, go. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. <laughs> Yay, karma. Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Where is he? Uh, yeah, let's try. Sorry, smooth skin. I can't take the risk. Damn it. Moriarty will beat the shit out of me for even talking to you. Well, we've already done that now, so... Oh, man. I'm glad to see you. Uh... I'll ask him some questions. A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, well, I found this place. Right, yeah. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. I will do. I'm sure I'll get there eventually. Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping to fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that, instead of being stuck in this dive. Goodbye, Gob. Don't hit me! I'm not gonna hit you. So Moriarty's around the back Never then? Seen a ghoul before. No, he's not. Is he? Around here? Here he is. Yeah, what the Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. Well, have you got my an Irish accent? My home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. I doubt you, you came from caps. Ireland in the past. I've got your pleasure. You know, your lifetime. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. Yes, yes. Oh my God, it's you, the little baby boy, all grown up, persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been.